hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, I am in this particular video I am going to give you the full documentary on based on what this lover released concerning why Mobad was killed you know she put down a long documentary concerning how he started and why he was died so uh, come to me to the end of this video you are going to see all let's start from reading uh, her post so according to this lover she wrote hello to glb nations is with so much pain i am writing this the reason is that this boy really fought hard he tried so hard he gave death a tough time but death won at last Mova was one of the young street boys who rose to stadium from the street of Ikorodu. You know those days of making a freestyle and boom, it goes viral online. Here are some of his throwback videos of his early years. One way or the other, his video freestyle video went viral. He got noticed and got signed to a record label named Malian Music owned by a certain Peckham drug lord named Aziz Fashola uh, Naira Mali, alongside Imole. Aziz signed other uh, young artists too, and in return, a turning was going on smoothly in the, record in the record label. Little did they know that there is more to just being in the record label and signing song alone. Since the record label is owned by a real lord, there are some certain sacrifices you need to do as to. There are some certain sacrifices you need to do as to stay relevant in the record label. First is that you are initiated into peddling of drugs. Second is that you also take an oath of secrecy never to reveal things going on in the label. Their boss, who is now an ambassador of NDLA, trained them all and they were doing so well, taking and peddling the drugs. Then it got to a level of secrecy, oath, and Mubab refused. Zeno and some other artists in the record label did all the necessary oaths right, but Mubab refused. They gave him time to have a rethink. During those times, they sidelined him. The record label boss left him useless in the label, but was promoting Zeno back to back. He even gave out one of his street sisters to Zeno, making the knack that one. That's why you see Zeno dropping hits and looking like a rag. His life is under the control of the label, and he can't even option out. Mobad started complaining that he needs he needs promotion too, that Naira can't be promoting Zeno alone and leave him hanging. That's the beginning of their fight. It was from one argument to another. He got worse that they go physical most times, and Naira hates to be challenged so bad. But Mobad was, but Mobad was always the only one challenging him in that label, aside his record label boys. He has other young boys he recruits who helps in carrying out his drug business. One thing led to another, he started restricting Mobad from going out alone. If he goes out, he seizes people trailing him. It was that bad. He, he then confided in some of his friends. They told him to run for his dear life. If not, it's a lifetime contract or they take his life. On hearing that, he summoned Naira Mali that he wanted to leave the record label. That was the beginning of his nightmare. Naramani refused, saying he can't he can't option out like that and this generated into a serious argument and Mobad was beating blue black by Naramali boys. One of his arms even got broken in the process. Bella was in the know of all this happening. He was updating Bella how things were going. He managed to stay in the record label for a month more. Then one evening, he wrote a letter as advised by friends, trying to make it official that he wants to leave the record label. Naramali tore the letter right in front of him and walked him out. That night, Mobad said he was done and walked out on his booze, Naira. Naira, on the other hand, seeing that 
It's like this boy don't mean business. He went out to plan with uh, the NDL officials to come raid Mobad so that even when they finally fall out and Mobad tries to say all, the, all he knows, people will call him a drug addict and not pay attention to his words. Luckily that day when NDL raid uh, their house, he went on uh, life and spilled some things but neither was ready for the damage control. He said it was drug that made him say such things and he was abused drugs a lot. He was taken to the hospital after the DNA saga even though nothing was wrong with him. Few days after he was discharged, his team reached out to me and said he was uh, contemplating suicide that I should please save them from Naira, that they are small boys trying to fend for themselves. I told them to write another letter and send to Naira. If he, he tears it or not, this time around is on him. They wrote the letter and sent me a copy. After I got the letter, I then wrote a warning post. I don't know if anybody remember. I did a warning post telling Naira to leave, to stay off him or else I go release waiting the cook warehouse take born and all their drug peddling business after I called him out and the second letter was written. I told them to also post it on mobile page for record purpose. That was how this young man escaped Martian music musical. Nine are first blacklist blacklist and for industry. You know this their industry is man no man. It's deeper than waiting on a no. After blacklisting him, he started sending threats to his parents say their son they talk about him they talk about him if they know one them they go mourn them if they know one them they go mourn them threats everywhere the trailing still didn't stop one day he was well led and beaten by naira's boys they took his phone wiped every single thing on the phone all the contact every single thing after he left the record label he tried to pursue his career on his own Bella and Latan also stood by him, but he didn't uh, find it easy as Naira don't put mark on for him body for industry. He started facing rejection. No promoters was willing to work with him, uh, with him. But Bella stood his ground and gave him a shoulder. At some point, Naira Mali sent his boys after Bella, but they missed him. Yet he didn't stop supporting Mubad. Make we no long Matasha. Strange numbers started calling him. They won't leave him until he is six feet that he can't dine with them and opt out. He lived his whole life on fear. When he, he, he welcomed when he welcomed his son, this whole matter was on the reason why he didn't announce. He knew they might come for his son, so he kept it under wrap. There are countless shows he secure and die minutes they will counsel him and tell him they got an order from above not to use him. But in all of this, man no be God. His glory is so loud that darkness couldn't overshadow him. Without all the show promoters, godfathers and the industry, he was doing so well just in his own. Few of his friends who are influencers and dancers stood by him too. They gave him the push. Being a sabi boy, he started picking up and was doing so well for himself all alone. The threat didn't stop. Spiritual attacks here and there. Laying ambush for him at any given opportunity. Just recently, Polo took him to African Feast and Naira still see. Naira sent his boys in the UK to attack Mobad, but again, they missed him. Just last week, Samla, sponsored by Naira, uh, Naira and his gang, were led a mobad and beat him mercilessly, aiming for his life. He managed to escape and we thought that was it. Now, on what led to his death, we say anybody where Mobad tries to make friends with Naira must buy them with money just so they can always give him details about Mobad, except for Zlatan and Bella. More lost of a lot, lot of friends Naira, uh, to Naira bullying. So there is this friend that stick around and was always with Mobad. On Sunday, they both went to perform at the uh, Degenerate Vitas launching in Ikorodu. The friend was with him all through the show. After the show, 
One thing led to another, and Mo got into a, an argument with the friend. The argument got intense that they exchanged blows, not knowing Mo had, uh, that the friend got a ring. So according to what we are hearing, we, he we heard that that ring was jazzed, you know, and they used it on him. But one thing I know for sure is that uh, God did. So the only offense this guy commits here is that she refu he refused to join the court. You know, from what we are hearing allegedly. But one thing I know for sure is that uh, as long as that cup is used, uh, it's good for them to measure for uh, Mubad. God is going to use the same cup for, to measure for them. Thanks for watching. Please share this video. My God will help you. Bye for now. I love you guys.